Hey everyone. <laughs> well, as you can see, we're here in the city. As you can see, we're working on the camper. I may or may not have messed the bed up a little bit. Um, it's been a little uncomfortable, so <laughs> that's what this video is about. Gotta take some time in town at my brother's place to in Colorado here to uh, fix some stuff. So let's talk about it. All right, so overall, um, I mean, this all kind of boils down to just feeling rushed and feeling like I need to get the interior build done. Um, not from Bison or sponsors or anyone specific, just more so, you know, living situation and um, myself wanting to get it done. Anyways, so I could have put this support a little higher like there. That side isn't quite right. The table's not quite right um and then we didn't have a support here and that was just no good and i kind of knew that so let's back up a moment if you remember from a few months ago when terry from whipsaw woodworks built my table he also built me some super sweet matching walnut supports that i drilled in from the back side of the aluminum that makes the dinette and those were supposed to catch the table. This is one of those, those point of no return moments, drilling it in, don't wanna mess it up. I installed that table, I believe a day before Overland Expo West, and I felt super rushed to get the truck ready for the expo, and just could have spent a little bit more time and honestly just lined those supports up a little bit better. So that's one thing we're working through. First thing I'll show you, which is quick and easy fix, I ordered an extension pole. Um, this is part of it. This is only a little bit of it. This isn't blood, by the way, this is stain. I'll get to that. We're staining things as well. But this is a third of an extension pole with this little plastic piece. I did the measurements and was like, this should fit perfect. It fits absolutely perfect. So look at how I did this. And then I'll show you why I'm sanding this as well. I put a door stop right here. And I just kind of thought this in my head. I was just like, eh, circular door stop. That should catch it like the rubber. Well, it turns out, you guys, <laughs> uh, it is just absolutely perfect. It'll come down and rest on the floor there and give that a lot of needed support. And then we're also going to boost that side up a little bit in doing this to match over there. This piece actually does that just perfectly too. So we just need to add some support there. We're sanding this down. This is just kind of a piece I didn't really want to add. This is the hood pin again that goes and connects up to the wall. Um, but I can feel that tiny little piece of quarter inch in my back when I'm sleeping. So I realized with making a bed, everything has to be just right. I mean, you would think, right? you'd want it flat. That stuff transfers through five inches of pads, like just the littlest bit. So anyways, um, we're gonna sand this down. We're sanding this down. I hate doing this when I'm trying to live in it. I'm gonna sleep in it tonight and I'm working on it also, but that's okay. We're also taking advantage of some epoxy that my brother had um just your standard home depot stuff but yeah this will work good to finish up the kitchen area we need to get that waterproofed um and then a couple other little things oh and the bottom of my jet boat we're gonna epoxy that for extra strength another issue with the table itself is actually just the pedestal that we used not the actual table that terry built but the pedestal was pushing itself down and not fully supporting the weight which then would get everything all super wonky um and push up so i've got them loose right now just to show you when it's straight you know the table's pretty straight and it looks pretty good but then even no matter how tight i tighten these the table gets pushed down in the night and usually ends up something like that 
and you can feel that like crazy and then watch on this end again it's pretty flat and it gets pushed down and it can even get like it can get so bad that that side starts lifting up and now that's a big thing jamming in your back so my solution to this that i have yet to do um because i'm living on the road and i don't have the right tool to do it but i want to get some pvc pipe and cut it down the middle at the perfect size and install it as kind of a shim in the table pedestal so that it can only push down the right amount so that the table won't push too far and fold up on us. So it was really nice, you know, with living on the road to be able to have my brother's garage and ship a few things and get the bed a little bit more dialed in. It still could be better. Um, again, I need these PVC things and even the cushions I've learned a lot. Um, one big kind of issue with the cushions is when they're on the table, when it's down, um, they're this way and they begin to get pushed and then there's a big gap in the cushions and, um, yeah, I, I do the cushions a little differently now, I think. So really a tricky bed setup um, versus the cab over where you just toss a mattress up there. Um, but once you have everything dialed in, it's pretty neat. Again, I love being able to sleep down below. I love being able to sleep without the top popped. Um, but yeah, a little bit more hassle with setting the bed up. And then when I didn't really take enough time to do it, you know kicking myself for that but no worries we got some stuff taken care of um that was that we needed to in colorado we filled up water and of course stopped by walmart all right so we're at walmart playing sticker fairy you see this sweet setup here with this sweet trailer yeah check this thing out cool home built oh it's built on a military m812 or whatever those are so that is super strong. That's awesome. So we'll give him a sticker. There you go, bud. <laughs> we got the truck washed and took off towards Wyoming to meet up with Julie and battled through the Denver traffic. Oh, man. That was pretty crazy. And uh, happy to get out of the big city for sure. E e we see an Alu cab with an Expedition Essentials propane mount on a Ford Ranger. That looks sweet, bud. Heck yeah. All right, now we're out of the city, into the country, the drive's really opened up. Check this out out here. Pretty. All right, starting to really feel those road trip vibes now. Man, that city can really get to you, can it? Oh yeah, early again. But that's gonna be in the next episode, so we'll catch you then. Like, comment, subscribe. The only question is, are you down to mob your home? <laughs>